and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so that you can save your time as well as improve your problem solving skills okay so today's problem of the day is large sum sub array of size at least k which is a medium level problem and i also think the same okay so the prerequisite of this problem is cadence algorithm so if you don't know cadence algorithm please you should you can try to solve this problem i will attach its link into the youtube solution description as well okay so if you know it it's great if you don't know you can go and try this otherwise i'm also gonna explain a little bit in this pro problem solution as well okay so let's go and check this out what we will be given to the array what will be given in this program and what we have to do okay so we will be given a array a of long type and n which will be the length of this a array and long k okay so what we have to do we have to return the sub array sum the sub array sum like maximum sub array sum whose size should be at least k okay so you have to return maximum sub array sum whose size should be either equal to k or greater than k okay so the sub array sum which we will be returning its size should not be less than k i think you are with me and you should be getting this okay so how are we going to solve this i've written something for you so let's jump to that section okay okay so find we have to find the largest sum sub array with a size greater than or equal to k okay i think that's clear now how are we going to solve this so first of all uh, i will be having one array which will be storing the sum uh, maximum sum till that point okay so like include that index i if, if i'm at i here in the array so i will include ith index and what will be the maximum sub array sum till this point till this i i will be storing it how are we going to store we are going to store it using cadence algorithm which will return us in big o of n time okay so we will use cadence algorithm to find max sub array sum till that index and store in the array okay so first point is clear now second point now we will be using sliding window technique so we have to find we will find first of all sub array sum of size k okay so if uh, i will be like here if k is equal to 2 okay so i will be like first of all getting the sum of this one this two sub array okay after that this one so how i'm going to this go get the sum of this i will include the sum of that current index and i will remove the sum of i minus k so here k is 2 i is 2 also so i minus k is 0 so i will remove the sum till this point okay 1 so i will remove this so now it will again to 2 2 it is 2 for this case but it will be different for another okay so what i am going to do first of all calculate the sum of sub array sum of length k okay sub array sum of length k i will be calculating with the help of sliding window technique and after that suppose i have calculated the sum of k uh, and i am currently at i now i will be checking whether to include the maximum sub array sum till i minus k okay so how i'm going to get this i minus k i will be getting it with the help of cadence algorithm where i will be storing the max sub array sum till that point into that index in an array okay so i minus k i will be having so now i will be thinking whether i should include it or not okay whether i should include it. if this sum is positive this sum is positive i will include it in our current sum if this is negative so it will be downgrading our answer but we have to return the maximum answer so i will not include it okay so these two points are clear so here if you will check let's suppose for this point this point the k equal to 2 so the sub array sum of size k is what is 2 okay now i will check so this is our max sub array sum which i will be calculating with cadence algorithm okay this one so i i minus k is what 5 k is 2 so 3 so 3 i will be checking max sub array sum is 4 so whether should i include it or not if i will include so my answer will become what 4 plus 2 6 so it is increasing the sum so i will include it okay so 4 plus 2 6 it's great so now my answer will be 6 i will see k minus 4 minus 1 3 so max sub array sum is what till this point it is minus 4 at this point it is minus 2 at this point it is 1 and at this point it is minus 2 again okay so now k equal to 2 again okay k equal to 2 again so again i will check that uh, suppose for this one this one what will be my sum 1 and minus 3 the sum is what minus 2 okay and now i will check for our max sub array sum for i minus k so max sub array sum for i minus k is what it is again minus 2 so whether should i include this minus 2 into our current sub array sum minus 2 uh, it will become what minus 2 minus 2 equal to minus 4 so i will not include it because if i will include it my answer is decreasing but i have to return the largest sum so i will not include it okay so i will not include it as it will only decrease my answer but i have to return the largest so i think that's it i have explained so yeah that's it let's jump to the code section and write the code for it but you have you have already understood the solution please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and now let's jump to the code section for it okay all right so let me first of all convert this long n and long k into integer type otherwise i have to do it again and again so i will write something like int 
of n okay and int of k equal to type card this int k okay so in this way now i will be having my long max sum array it will be of mm, length let's say n okay it will be storing my max sum till this point and i will be using cadence algorithm for it so if you don't know it please go you can try to go and watch it okay so for int i equal to 1 no so let's first of all initialize it so i will be using two variables my max sum which will be 0 at this point of time i will initialize it with equal to a of 0 okay and let's take one current sum which will be equal to a of 0 as well okay so i will be updating my current sum and if my current sum is uh, uh, i will be first of all updating my current sum and i will be storing it to max okay so i equal to 1 i is less than and i plus plus and after that current sum equal to what current sum equal to one math dot max of so if it will be negative suppose my current sum till this point is negative so i will not include it into our a0 otherwise i will include it so it will be what a of i or a of i plus current sum okay so that is it and i will be storing it to our max sum at that index in this way okay so what we have what i'm doing here is current sum equal to math dot max suppose a of i is 2 and current sum till this point is minus 2 okay so minus 2 and a i 2 plus minus 2 0 so i will not include my current sum my current uh, number is greater than the current sum as well okay so i will not include it because it will decrease my current sum so in this way i've got this now let's calculate our answer so i will be writing something like long answer equal to 0 and my current sum equal to 0 as well okay now let's calculate the sum of first k integers so how i'm going to do that for int i equal to 0 i is less than n i oh, sorry 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 i is less than k i plus plus sum plus equal to what sum plus equal to what sum plus equal to a of i okay and after that so i will be initializing my answer equal to sum as well till this point now after that i will be starting with k i equal to k i is less than n i plus plus okay and uh, after that i don't think we have to do much i will be updating my sum so sum equal to what at this kth index i will include my i uh, of that point sum uh, let's write it here as well sum plus equal to a i and minus a i minus k so this is sliding window uh, at suppose i'm at this point so minus 2 1 now if i will be including minus 3 so i will uh, excluding y minus 2 okay because i will be have to get only two sum two lengths of k equal to 2 okay i think you are getting this now uh, i will be updating my answer equal to as well math dot max of answer and the present sum okay and uh, after that look now whether to include i already told you whether i should include the max sum till that point or not so answer equal to math dot max of answer comma sum i have my sum plus max sum till what till i minus k okay uh, i minus k let's use capital k here let's use capital k here as well because i have to upcast it otherwise it will be doing some error and uh, here i am going to return the answer so that is it i think you guys are with me in this and you should be able to understand this okay here sort of expression sum plus minus one minus one let's try to submit it and if you have loved the solution please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel okay so yeah it's getting passed all right so i have one one more gig bit and uh, thanks everyone i think it was a very good solution and it was a very fantastic problem so if you have loved the solution please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'm gonna see you again in tomorrow's session till then keep on coding and bye